Yeah, because I finally, I finally, during my day off, decided to actually add the detailed timer that I kept saying I was going to add. So while I was already doing it. Oh god, my, my fingers lost all sense of control. Who needs luck when you've got a capsule route? Why is that car boost so far down? Imagine if I routed in enough capsules that we just didn't do V1 at all. The dream. Sadly, there aren't enough fast capsules for that. More capsules, less capsules, all capsules, no capsules. Truly, it is hard to say. Sorry, I'm with you. I really need to make it so the Epic Games launcher doesn't launch when I start my computer because I'm so sick of random Epic Games notifications covering my OBS. For instance, I really don't need to know about the new Fortnite Golden Bane quest pack. But now you will know about it, so I guess you're welcome. I just need to like either either disable Epic Games Launcher from starting on startup or just make it so that notifications don't appear. I'll be honest, I don't know if that's faster than going all the way down, but it feels cool, you know?
I would say going down is probably faster, but it's like a very small amount of time. What is up, Scott? The last time I thought I had bed bugs, it turned out it was fleas, and I don't know if that's worse. I mean, I, ge I guess, I guess it's not worse because you don't have to buy a new mattress. But holy fuck, the fleas were so bad. Like, we have a lot of cats, so you have to understand that a flea problem is a very serious problem. Oh god. I feel like you'd find a lot of uh, bodily fluids if you were scanning with a UV light. I'm sorry, Fortnite Golden Vein Quest Pack, but I'm going to have to close the notification now. This is information that I did not ask for, nor care to know. I don't know if I've, I've ever actually had bed, bed bugs before. The proper bed bugs. Had some concerns about the new Mario Strikes, but it looks like unfortunately it's not a game I'll be buying because I know exactly what will happen. I'll buy it because I want to play it with friends, and it will never happen because my friends will live in a different time zone, so we'll never set anything up. So I'm just not going to waste the money. It's like how I bought Mario Golf, and I played it once with Swift, and that was like the only time I ever played it with someone else. 
so I'm just, I just don't feel like wasting the money. The Japanese trailer thing came out and now I'm not sold on it. Wait, what happened? What a miss. So the goal is to just finish this run today no matter what, so I can have a run that, ha that uses my capsule route. I think just to get a gauge on the final part of the run. I mean, yeah, I'm, I'm in an okay mood today mentally, so I think that I'll be fine to just play through. If I lose the run, whatever. I mean, it would suck if I lose the run, like, the majority of the way through it. I feel like it's easier to do a no reset when you lose the run earlier on, like, than it is to do a no reset when you lose the run, like, five hours in, and it's like, oh my fucking god, I hate this game so much. Nice. There's a ball player. Oh, come on. Nice. Bad car. There's a blow death. How can you lose the run by making a mistake that loses a lot of time? Which generally is getting take is taking damage on a boss or missing an objective in a particularly long level. Or missing a soul is like a basically almost an instant run killer. If you miss a soul, that's it. And when I say missing a soul, I don't mean like missing one then dying to get. I mean missing one, not realizing you missed it, getting to the end of the level, realizing you're a soul short, and having to go through the entire level again. That's like five minutes. Like five minutes of time. Just gone. Because even though Elphalyn says when you get all the souls in an area, it only takes like a, it only takes like a second of not paying attention to walk through the loading zone and then realize you've missed one. Also, I've had it where something has happened that has distracted me when I picked up what I thought was the last soul, and because I was distracted by whatever it was that was happening. Uh, I just missed it, you know.
Strikers, it feels like limited characters with this format of getting rid of like toads, blah blah blah, but don't like the crypto to upgrade. Are you sure that all of this stuff isn't going to be offline stuff, like single player and not online? I could be wrong though, I mean you watched it, I haven't. Yo, nice! That boulder's like in the worst spot right now. Try and bury. This one three is not selling me at my best though right now. Oh, this one three is terrible. I've been missing that milk that milk dash lately, so sick. This is this one dash three is very uh very something, that's for sure. I don't like it when I mess up one dash three, it's my favorite level in the world. This genuinely is my favorite level in this world, I think. And no, it's not because the Howl Room is in it. you had a maxim tomorrow i still really want to buy star allies but it's so expensive and i looked i looked in a pre-owned store near me and it's only like seven pounds cheaper than just buying it digital still and i'm like man i want to play it now like i played the demo again i was like oh this is fun i kind of want to play it but like it's i don't want to it's too much money I enjoyed it. I, I mean, like, I don't care if a game is easy, as long as I just in, as long as it's just a nice romp, you know. This is a bit Epic Swagger. Thank you for the good luck, Cal Carry. And thank you for the good luck, Epic Swagger. Sorry, I, I'm using different greetings. I know. Ugh, that was weird. Robobot Star Alice. Yeah, but I can't play Robobot on my Switch. Therein lies the problem. I'm also supposed to go down here first. Oh, uh, whatever. Oh my god.
Like, it was, it's just a game I want to play on my own anyway, not on stream, just to kind of chill out and vibe. And that's what it looks like, just a vibe game. This is very easy looking. Damn right. supposed to dash into it. It's over. I know that one looks slow, but it's not as slow as I, it's not as slow as it seems, trust me. I played Squeak Squad when I was however old when that game came out. And it was fun. I liked Squeak Squad. Though in the EU it's called Mouse Attack, which, you know, is a worse name, and the fact that Mouse Attack sounds like Mass Attack, which is still called Mass Attack in, the, in Europe. So we have Kirby Mouse Attack and Kirby Mass Attack. And I'm just like, great. Helpful. Definitely doesn't make it confusing to talk about whatsoever. Nope. Yeah, but moose attack would be a different pronunciation. That's not the issue. The issue is mass sounds like mouse with a European accent. Mass mouse, mass mouse. Like I feel like I don't. It doesn't sound very distinct. Also, the next treasure road is the worst treasure road in World 1. Not because it's a bad treasure road, but because it's the one that varies the most. Like, this treasure road is so easy to lose, like, 10 to 15 seconds on, and it sucks. Also, did you get sub-9, Carry? I stopped by the other day, but I didn't say anything. And you were, like, 18 minutes ahead, and then I stopped by a bit later, and then you were plus 2 minutes. I'm like, oh, man, that's catching more. <laughs> What a roller coaster. Mmm, the forty minute distortions, delicious. That's right, someday you'll get sub time with three forty minute distortions. My condolences. No, it's just character building. Really? Jeez. This game sucks sometimes. And I didn't even hit the middle buffer, buffer, whatever its name is, buffer horn. Remember I said I was going to lose like 10 seconds? Not 10 seconds, but it's definitely time loss. Right. 
four peat blocks. You know what you can do with four peat blocks? You can turn it into a shiny charm run. Show sure you're all taking whatever meds you need to take. I don't think I've had medicine in a while. Zamala. I'm in an okay mood today, but I wouldn't say I've got jokes. I feel like I don't have many jokes today. I hate this one. I love it when that happens, though. Yeah, I get the two for one sometimes. It's rare, but sometimes it lines up. It's pretty poggers. It's hard though, it's like it's really hard to get. Consistently anyway. I just kinda go for it every time and sometimes I get it, but it's rare, like I said. kind of a joke. Yeah, because you're not doing the real category. The one that everybody takes seriously. Shiny Charm. Everybody takes Shiny Charm seriously. Especially me. Well, I'm glad that you're in a better medical situation, because the medical situation is kind of the main situation you want to be good. At least in my experience. Your shouts to sword. I actually made a schedule this week. I'm so proud of myself. I was like, you know what? It's time to bring some structure back to this bitch. God, I love that strat.
I'm I'm not biased at all. But whoever came up with that strat must be really smart and cool. Welcome, newly twirless mortals. How are you enjoying the Goromondo strats? I invented. I don't know. Like, I don't, I don't talk about it in other people's strings, but like, when I do it in my own runs, I, I get super satisfied every time I get it, because I'm like, yeah, I did that. I haven't seen that person since they got banned in Philly's chat. Actually, they didn't get banned, they just left. I haven't seen them since, though. Maybe they went through their own character development arc, where they realized, hey, I'm being kind of a jerk. We'll never know. Well... I just call it Twirless Goromondo, but I'm down. I, when people call it the Tippy Twirless, I'm like, hell yeah. I didn't even say that one. I feel like I always have the same amount of coins after World 1, roughly. I usually always have like 800 and 40, 850 ish. Which I mean is good. My, con my coin consistency is pretty good, basically, is what I'm saying. Something is my... Oh! Optimized Waddle Detour! Saving like two seconds! Insane. What's up, Evie? Goom, Goom Eevee, Gooba. I always bonk on that tiny ledge. I need better movement for this section because I feel like no matter what happens, I'm always bonking. Oh my god, I'm on it. I had it. I remember some of my dream last night. I was on the TARDIS, and there was. I, I had to do something. It's funny because I was talking a lot about Doctor Who yesterday, so I guess that's why I was why I had a dream, and I had to stop something from happening. And this something was going to happen for like two hours and I just couldn't figure out what I was supposed to do and then I woke up so I was like oh that's what I was supposed to do I was supposed to get the hell out of it why didn't I skip that fight because I need hammer I needed hammer for that waddle do I don't know if you know this but I kind of need hammer
No, the new doctor has a name that I don't know how to pronounce, to be honest with you. But apparently they were in a show called Sex Education and they're a good actor. I, I don't know much about them. Admittedly. But my main hope is that with Russell T Davies uh, being like at the helm of the show again, it's going to be better. So I'll definitely give it a chance. I mean, I gave I gave Chibnall and Jody Whitaker a chance. I don't think it was Jody's fault. I think it was just like the stories just were not interesting. Fuck you, Bunk. So I'm hoping that with Russell back, the stories might get better. Best Doctor. I don't know. I don't really have, like, an opinion on the actual Doctor. It's more just, like, what stories do I like? I feel like Matt had some of the strongest stories. I did like Capaldi as the Doctor as well. I think Capaldi's a good Doctor, like, as generally as an actor. I hated Clara, though. I'll just be real. Like, I like Capaldi. Hated Clara. Tennant or Smith. That's so hard, though, because they both have some really good stories. I like them both a lot. Matt also had, like, Amy Pond and Rory, and, like, River Song for the most part. I mean, I know River Song spanned across multiple Doctors, but I feel like most of it was with Eleven. Or at least the most significant parts that I remember. It's funny because I said this to Alyssa the other day. I said when Do when they originally announced Donna, I was like, oh god, I do not like Catherine Tate because Catherine Tate has like her own show on the B. Or I don't know if she does anymore, but she did called the Catherine Tate Show, and I just did not like that show. I did not think it was funny at all. So I was like, oh no. But she turned out to be probably one of my favorite companions. I think because it was just like, I wasn't really interested in the whole, oh, the companion loves the Doctor dynamics, and Donna was like a nice refreshing change from that, thank god. So she's probably my favorite. I, I don't know if I could say she's definitely my favorite, but she's one of them, that's for sure. I'm gonna do something slow here, but it's gonna make me feel good. Thoughts? I do like Amy and Rory though, I will say that. Whoa. That wasn't it. I can't believe you think I'd be tipsy after one drink. What? Okay. Okay, you know what? New plan. Don't do that in future. 
I didn't realize it was going to take that long to spawn. It's fine. I can promise you, it takes a lot more than one drink. But I don't really drink anyway, so... I think the last time I had a drink, like a proper drink, was at GDQ in 2020. So it's been like almost two and a half years. Good night, Nismai. I hope you feel better in the morning. And if you don't, well, blame Ben for not sharing the drinks. I've had beer, which I didn't like, champagne, wine, uh, vodka, rum, probably something else I figure out. I'm just not big on alcohol. Wine is okay. The most alcohol I'm just kind of like, well, I mean, I'm only drinking it to get the feeling. I'm not drinking it for the taste. And I mean, I don't really, I don't really, like I said, I don't really care much for the feeling anyway. I haven't had a drink to get that feeling in like two and a half years. So... Perfect bounce. Flawless. <laughs> Initially, I wasn't getting the invincibility candy here. And I get like 22 seconds, but if you get the invincibility candy, you only lose a few seconds, but you also get 25 plus extra coins, so I mean, kinda worth? Thank you, Berserk. I made this cycle yesterday. Even with the poster, it is possible. Just so you know. I 
I scream. I I I, I, I took a clip. I haven't watched the clip back, but I definitely got it. So, I bought the Stanley Power Waltra Deluxe. I played it for like an hour. I meant to go back to it. Then I watched Mikalico play the whole game. And I'm like, well, now I don't have to go back to it because I've literally watched it all. Oh my god, I bounced off like the tiny indent in the wall there. Is it different from the first one? Yes. There's a lot of extra dialogue. And there's a lot of extra branching. There's a lot of new. There's a lot of new endings. Let's put it that way. Yeah, I mean, Metallica was very thorough. She kind of like just went through every ending, and I was basically there for most of the stream, so I saw everything. It's, it's a funny game. It's definitely good stream content. I mean, this is the kind of game I could watch again. Like, I could end up booing out myself to play again. Because, I mean, it's got good dialogue. It's, it's a funny game. So... Nice water jug. Sorry, dome my mouth, Kirby. Apologies. You know what? That sword, tri that sword figurine is perfectly timed because I'm doing the sword treasure now. I mean, it is basically. I wouldn't even call it a remaster, it's more like an expansion. Because all of the original content is still in the game. It's like, it's all there. It's just, there's more.
Well, actually, not all of the original content is there, but 99% of the original content is there. Some of it was, uh, there was like, a, one ending in particular I'm thinking of was changed, but I don't want to spoil the game, so. Yes, it is literally like basically a Binding of Isaac situation. It's the game, but more. It's worth the money, I think. I think you'll get enough. If you, especially if you haven't played the original, it's definitely worth the money. But if you have played the original, it's probably worth it, I think. If you enjoyed the original enough, you definitely enjoy the, the Ultra Deluxe. My favorite part of this uh, treasure road is just getting fucked. Oh, baby. That was terrible. At least I got the target time. <laughs> put over this one yesterday. I remember. Looks for me. I never get this cycle anyway, so whatever. Okay, now I'm pissed. Can we not do this? <sighs> Gotta say, really hate this treasure road. Took six seconds. Probably no, it's more, honestly. It's like. I've gotten like a 30. 30 something on this level. So. I wanna know the secret! I wanna know the damn secret! The 20 something that someone has. I'm like, how? How? But there's no footage anywhere. Perfect. Haha, -ha, yes.
114 as usual. I've gotten a 113, but nothing lower than that. I imagine with speed buff you could probably get like a 10x, probably. Me doing that dive, by the way, instead of tornadoing, I was I was getting around half a second faster consistently. So doing that weird movement into the water is a conscious decision. <laughs> this one's not fast, by the way. I just like getting it. This one takes like nine seconds. Bill. I would say I wish I was coding right now, but I really don't. But I hope it's fun. Well, I mean, as fun as coding can be. How come I don't bounce off the burning logs at all? Built different. I genuinely don't know. I've just always moved in a very specific way and it seems to consistently work, so... I guess you could just analyze my movement, probably. Oh, easy goal. Recently I started digging down my Steam Steam game list. I'm actually starting to play some of my old Steam games. 
Like, I've played Evo Land 1 before, but apparently I own Evo Land Legendary Edition, which is both games. I finished Evo Land 1 yesterday, so I'm going to play Evo Land 2, because that game I do own, but I never really played it much. I beat the first one before, now I've beaten it again, now I'm going to play the second one. I also reinstalled Deus Ex Human Revolution, which I did play on Xbox like 10 years ago, but I really like that game, so I want to play it again on Steam. Well, I've been digging, I've been looking for games to just play. It's been a struggle. I'm like, I don't know what to play. I got all the achievements in the Evo Land 1 segment. Now I'm gonna. I'm going for full completion, so that's the goal in the second one, too. Also, Double Twin is bullshit, if anybody remembers that card game. It's like, oh yeah, collect all the cards to play Double Twin, but you don't get to choose what cards that you get to play with. It's like, why am I collecting them then? Might as well just get the strong ones and no other ones. Just get the five strongest cards in the game and no other cards. Free win. It's funny because that's basically what happened where I was like, oh... We were looking for things to do in core, so I was like, I mean, I could play some, I could play Evo Land. I could stream it through Discord if you want to watch. Because that's what we do sometimes, we'll just like, play a game and the other one will watch. Stop driving. that this is the part where you reveal your own mate you, the game you made I knew that he was going to die, so I just waited. <laughs> I was like, he's going to die from the burn damage. 2064 read-only modes. I've not heard of it.
You tried playing that ninja game that was published by the Shovel Knight Studio and could not get into it. The combat was absolutely brutal. The nin I don't know what game that is. And I'll, I'll be real. I didn't think Shovel Knight was very good. I thought it was okay. It's like... I don't know. Everybody really likes it because it's like basically a really polished platformer inspired by like old era games and I'm just kind of like, yeah, but it's like, that's all it is. I mean like, yeah, okay, it's not a bad game, but everybody was hyping the shit out of it when it came out. And when I finally got around to playing it, with uh, playing it, the hype was so high for it that it just could not live up to it. A victim of overhype for me. Got points to switch. Yeah, that means it's easy to play. Let's go. Because as we all know, basically all I ever stream are games on my Switch. Even though I can stream basically anything. I don't know. I just... I didn't think Shovel Knight was that good. I didn't think it was bad. I just didn't think it was very good. It was fine. I shouldn't say I didn't think it was very good, because that makes it sound like I'm thinking it's bad. I just didn't think it was anything special. That would be the better way to phrase it. I don't know, I'll be real. I, I know that I probably just won't ever get around to playing it. And that's nothing against the game. I just know that I'm really slow when it comes to go, uh, picking up games that other people recommend to me. I didn't gold this Waddle Detour. It's over. Sorry, Luffy. So tough. I don't know, the main game on my list right now of things to buy is Star Allies. And I, it's like, I could buy it, it's just I don't want to spend the extra money. And I already have other games that I can play. Like my old Steam games, like I said, I'm going down the list. Maybe I'll get back to Shovel Knight. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll feel differently this time, because I'm going down my list. Who knows?
My goal is to not reset today, so fuck the splits, basically. But also, I have changed the route since my last completed run, so my splits would be inaccurate anyways. But this is the last time I need to ma- This is the last time I've majorly changed my route around, so I shouldn't need to change my splits again. Knock on wood. Good night, Zoe. Thank you for the good luck. I appreciate you. Why can't I go through the door? You know what? I think Kirby needs a double jump, and I don't mean just more floats. I mean an actual double jump. Yeah, sorry. You're cool now. Unfortunately, you don't get a choice. Yes! Storage cabinet! Storage cabinet, dude! I got the storage cabinet figurine! Finally! Do you ever wonder what compels Kirby to look at a car and say, mmm, looks tasty? Just join, just join the meeting and have my stream playing. I'll be like, hi everyone. Anyway, today we're talking about the dangers of, uh, or amusement park safety, actually, in this case. What the? 
What the? Okay. Whatever you say, video game. Nailed it. Good morning, Praetor. Welcome to my stream, where I play video games and pause awkwardly in the middle of sentences. Through the mud, yeah. Sorry, I don't know what the hell that was. <laughs> goodbye, frilly. Frilly? Yeah, goodbye, frilly. Guys, I miss Frilly already. Where's the Awoofy figurine?
slow. Why do I even try? Why do I even try? So this was where I lost a lot of time in the last run I did of with my capsule route. Because I hit that. Because I got a Gordo on that. Everybody in chat, find a partner and hold their hand. I know it's a scary level. It's okay. Thanks for me. Also, like, make sure you're wearing maybe gloves or something because of, you know, COVID and all that. Gabby. Nailed it. I actually think I would land in the tunnel, I'll be real. This is my favorite level in the game. So. That sounds sarcastic. I'm being dead serious. This is my favorite level in the game. I like a lot of levels in this game. This one's just my favorite. I just love the movement. I came up with a lot of the movement in this level myself. A lot of the strats are also mine. Like, I, I basically, a lot of the movement in this level I came up with on my own. And I really like it.
Where is the Awoofy dude? 5-4? Five, 5-4 four. Five, is cool. Four dash one and four dash three have my favorite music in the entire game because they both have the same track. Which would be Northeast Frost Street and Windy Freezing Seas. Yeah. It's Grass World, Beach World, Amusement Park World, Ice World, Desert World, Lava World, and then Scary Dream Space. Clean. Like the, the boss, I mean. The boss was clean. just stinks. A barbecue? I mean... I would have... Yeah, yeah. I don't, I don't really... I haven't really been to many barbecues, but people have them, yeah. What's up, Dave? All right, Bill. I'll remember you. I'm sorry in advance for all the Awoofy murder that's about to happen. I don't really have control over that.
Yeah, I mean, I've definitely been to a barbecue with, uh, in my life, but um, not very often. I know my neighbors used to have a few during the spring summertime. Yeah, I mean, the thing is, even in the UK, like, it's kind of hard to predict when the weather's going to be fine, because even in the summer, we just have a lot of overcast days. Like, we don't get a lot of rain in the summer, it just gets really hot, and at best, we get overcast, because honestly, a lot of the time in summer, we're begging for the rain because it gets so humid. And it's the worst. Most places don't have air conditioning. What the hell? Most places don't have aircon, yeah. That makes the summer even worse most of the time. I know that most big retail outlets don't even have air conditioning here, and it's horrible because I remember working through. So I used to work in a warehouse shop. Like, imagine Home Depot, but like uh, in the UK. And it was just like, it was a very laborious job because you had to move big things like toilets, sinks, just shower stuff, like big things, heavy things. So when summer rolled around and they didn't have air conditioning, it was basically moving this huge stuff in baking heat. And it was just, it was the worst. It was the worst job. I do currently have the record for 100%, yeah. But I definitely can get a 3x, so I just need a solid run, basically. I'm still moving around the route a bit as well, like I'm tweaking, that's why my splits aren't on, because I keep moving things around a lot to try and get things into a good speedy order. don't like this room.
Thanks, Flag Chan. I hope that you feel better soon. So what's required for 100%? Uh, upgrading all copy abilities to their final version. Not max damage, just their final version. Uh, every soul in Forgo World. All Waddle Dees. All the arenas done. All figurines. Basically, a lot of the things that you need to do revolve around getting all the figurines. Because a lot of the rewards for doing all the bonus extra stuff are figurines. So you can boil it down to just getting all the figurines, but that involves getting all the souls, all Waddle Dees. Well, all Waddle Dees actually don't give you a figurine, but you need to do it for 100% anyway. Um, all the arenas, all the Waddle Dee minigames in the village, Tilt and Roll, you know, Tilt and Roll the restaurant game. Uh, you need to do all treasure roads, because that also gives you a figurine. And I mean, you need the Star Stones anyway. Um... Is that everything? There is an in-game percentage counter, yeah. The run ends when you you get a special screen when you get 100%, so the run ends when that screen shows up, basically. So yeah, the current world record is my PD, which is a 644.10, so it is sub 7 hours. Um, I think it can be 63x, I'm sure. Just need a good run. Don't know about sub 6 though, really depends. Game's still new, so there's plenty of things I'm sure that we can find. Kirby dies. That was really good. That was clean. Besides the one hit I got. I, that one hit, but everything else was clean. Monkey time? Well, it's definitely not monkey time. Garamondo's in World 1. Maybe later, though, when I get to Borgo World. Then it'll be monkey time again. Alright, mid. Really good fight. That was really good. Holy crap. Yeah, sex cat up, sex cat down, sex cat minute, all that.
I do have the world record, yeah. For now. Till someone takes it from me. Sex cat up, sex cat down, sex cat, do the sex cat dance and twirl around. And that's how you do the scar- oh wait, no, it's the sex cat, sorry. Oh, actually, that sounds like a really bad sentence. That's how you do the sex cat. The drill ability can be evolved, the hammer ability can be evolved, the sword ability can be evolved, the tornado ability can be evolved, blah 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 blah. And we're gonna upgrade four things! We're gonna upgrade that, we're gonna upgrade not that. We're gonna upgrade that, we're gonna upgrade that, and we're gonna upgrade that. Crash costs 1200 and time crash is actually slower to use than regular crash, so we don't upgrade it till the end of the run. Because we have to upgrade it, obviously, for 100%, but we also upgrade it because we need to do the treasure road. But we leave it till last because it's just so expensive and it's slow. Yeah, Crash is just Crash is just better because it's a lot of damage and it's immediate as opposed to Time Crash where you have to run into them constantly to do damage. Sadly. we I used to do Time Crash here. I used to upgrade Time Crash here, but uh, we changed it because it was just too slow. Plus it helps to have the money for other things. Just generally. What's up, Tina? How many times do you stream? I stream basically every day except Tuesday and Friday. That's my schedule. So my day off is tomorrow, but I stream like every day except for those. I do my- I put a schedule- I recently started putting my schedule up in the Discord again, which I had taken a break from doing for months, but I decided it was time to bring it back. So if you want to ever see my schedule, it's in the Discord. Usually I stream, I usually, I aim to start stream around midday, uh, my time, which is GMT, so 12pm, which is like 7am EST, so I'm like a morning streamer for the Americans. But my streams, like, I mean, this run is like 7 hours, so if I finish a run, then my stream goes for a decent length. I also do other games. I also run a lot of other games. I run a lot of long runs. Like, I've done a lot of long Mario runs. Mario, Mario, Frank, whatever you prefer.
gonna join the Discord. Pog! I did it. I tricked someone into joining my Discord. Just kidding. Bernard, do you really want to go, bro? We'll fight. I did have a good birthday. Thank you for that. The world wishes I. Sorry, brain is trying to focus on juggling abilities right now. You can see I'm already starting to suck. There's like little suck lines. My birthday was May the 1st, so it was last, last, last week. But I can't speak. Last week, can't speak. Thank you for the happy belated birthdays. Appreciate it. Yeah, it was a good one, I think. Decent. One of the better ones. Because I just had fun. Sometimes depression can ruin a birthday. Not this year though, it was fine. Nah, I just did a stream. I can't- I think it was literally- The damn boxes. I think it was just, uh, I did 100%. No reset. And I actually PB'd, so I got a world record. But then, literally the day after, I did another run and PB'd again, so ripped the birthday record. It lasted a whole 24 hours, if that. What's up, Renlo? You're meh. You're not allowed to be meh. What the frick? Oh my god. Dude! I don't need bone ability! Chat, did you know that this clock is a huge reference? I've already said this on stream before, but there's some new people here. The clock is 427. And the 27th of April was the release date of Kirby's Dreamland. And the secret spot gives you 92 coins. And Kirby's Dreamland came out in 1992. It's all connected. Also, I got the Awoofy figurine. Runner's Blessed now. I love that clock. I think that clock reference is just super neat. Because it's like, I wouldn't have even, I wouldn't have even thought about that had it not been pointed out to me. Like, I always thought it was weird that you got 92 coins, but I didn't even consider that it was a reference. I just thought it was how being weird. I mean, I know all three of the Howl rooms.
I would hope. I mean, yeah, I'd be surprised if there was another Howlroom that I hadn't heard about yet. I mean, I'm not saying that I- I'm not saying I can't be wrong, I just have yet to see a fourth. There's another Howlroom in Burning Churning Power Plant. I won't tell you where it is. But you can find another one there. How did I not make that jump? The hardest category? I mean, wouldn't it just be 100% by default because you have to do everything? I guess not. It depends, though, because, like... Shorter categories are harder because they're more optimized. But then there's harder categories are harder because you have to do everything. It's like... It depends on the kind of difficulty. But the thing is, shorter categories are harder because they're more optimized, not because the things you have to do are harder. It's just harder to stay on pace. You know? Well, I mean, not saying that any percent doesn't have to do anything difficult. You, you get the point I'm saying, though. The, 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 the bulk of the difficulty from any percent is the fact that you have to stay fast the entire time. Or, like, you have to keep up with yourself, and it's harder. Because naturally, because it's sure your run's going to be more optimized. I mean, yeah, you don't get any capsules in any percent. I don't know why I'm swallowing this. That was a mistake. I went into all D's mode. No, it's all D's mode. I said. I decided. What is a pole? This is a concerning question for you to be asking. Because I feel like, just based on the nature of the democracy system, you should know what a pole is. But I also, to be fair... You know, I'm not gonna finish that train of thought.
It's like a vote. A vote. There you go. I don't know if, I don't know if that helps. Calling it a vote instead. me picking up that food. Yummy, yummy. Milk and coffee. They go together like butter and bread. Bread and butter. That sounded good to say butter and bread. Excuse me. Democracy is just like... <laughs> trying to think of the best way to describe this simply. It's it's literally just the whole voting process is democracy. For them, like, that's just the easiest way I can describe this to someone in Twitch chat. Like, I feel like without having to create a lesson out of it or anything. If bad wins, I will literally ban whoever put the most points or bits in. Just so you know. If the most, if the person who put in the most points put it on something else than bad, then they should have put more points in to make sure it didn't lose. And that's how democracy really works. I have swayed the vote. <laughs> democracy! <laughs> the illusion of democracy. No, America calls it a democracy, so it must be a democracy. Land of the free and all that. What's up, fairy? Oh my god. <laughs> Holy crap! It's actually kind of close!
Alright. Wait, only 600 channel points? How the f- Oh, I guess it must have been one channel point. I was gonna say, like, what the f- Or two, or something like that. Chat, did you know you can get me to do an all treasure roads run for only 5,000 bits combined? That's right. I have a bit goal, and it's a small bit goal. It's not a big one. It's not like 50,000. I know, bits! Fucking weird champ, but, you know. Sometimes you just gotta sell out. The 15 bits, Kagan. That's all I got. I mean, you didn't have to give me anything. So everything that you, everything that you gave me was appreciated. No one is ever obligated to give me anything and I appreciate all of the things I am given. Even when someone comes in and says, fuck you, I appreciate it. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Fuck that. <laughs> Because they chose to click on my stream to insult me. There's <laughs> a wormer. Never, never wake up the movies. They deserve to sleep. Fuck you, affectionate. So apparently you can clip through the top of this when you swallow the ring mouth, but apparently it doesn't spawn the food, so rip. Which is dumb, by the way. But whatever. Email doesn't work, so you can't verify your account, so you can't talk in my Discord. I'm not entirely sure what I can do about that, I'll be real. I'm sorry. If all else fails, just blame my mods. Who's ready for camera whiplash? Blame Renlev? Oh yeah, definitely blame Renlev. It's his fault to begin with. It has nothing to do with mods. I disagree.
You know, saying that is just mean. And honestly, very anti-cool. joke. That doesn't make it not mean. Like, watch this. Yo, six. Fuck you. It's a joke, though. Don't worry. Ah. I mean, I don't, I'm not putting you on blast. I'm just saying, I feel like it just uh, it seemed a little mean. That was all I was trying to say. I didn't want everybody else to jump in on the conversation. Jeez. Does anyone want to talk about your dog? Yes. Always. So, you know, I would have that would have been worth it more if I hadn't been really slow. Guys, we don't need to carry on, it's okay. Like I said, I wasn't trying to put anyone on blast. I was just saying it sounded a little mean. I didn't want everybody to jump in on it. Because I, I, I've seen the effects of dogpiling. It's not fun. the name and the level on your board, fuck this bridge, because fuck this bridge. I thought I was pretty soft, it's my authority. I hate it when I miss that. Oh, for fuck's sake, dude. Dude, falling there is the fucking worst.
Why do big Kabus take so many hits to kill? Fair question. Why do big Kabus take so many hits to kill and only give you one coin? Like, let's put this into perspective. This is this is something that irrationally annoys me, alright? Rabaroos, the little rabbits, they give you one coin. Oh, Rabaroos, the big rabbits, they give you five coins. And then there's the, um... What's that other enemy that has a big variant? There's another common enemy that has a big variant that also gives you five coins. And then there's Big Kabu that just gives you one. And it's like, why? No, it's not a Woofy. There's no bigger Woofy. Well, this is a problem. For fuck's sake, dude. I hate it when I miss this. <sighs> Split went horribly, as usual. Yeah, Kaipa, watch out, otherwise people will know you're a nice person. I love that I'm losing time to a split where I accidentally didn't mix crash. No, it's not it's not Tortilding and Tortuna. It's something else. I forget the name. I'll know it when I see it though. Uh You know what else gives you five coins? Snacker. Snacker gives you five coins. And it's like... Why doesn't Big Car- I don't get it, man. Oh, Peglin? Yeah, the only reason I haven't picked up Peglin is because, I mean, money and also... I feel like I'd get bored of it quickly. Because I, I, I love roguelikes. And I mean, I haven't played Peggle before, but I mean, I, I know the, the concept of Peggle. I also hear there's not that much content in it right now. Because it's like, being worked on I mean. I don't have a look, command, but... Good luck with your homework. <sighs> Important doggy update. You pet him. Thank you for bringing us this important update.
I mean, you were you were barely gone at all. Yeah, I mean that was less than a few minutes. That was like was it even sixty seconds. No, so, yeah, I mean, the goal is to just not reset today. Because I'm not streaming tomorrow, so I'd like to get a longer stream out today, even if it's not a PB. Because I'm sure people just like watching the whole run done, so. Okay, game. I, I knew that was going to happen because when I dodged, I didn't dodge far enough. I could already tell. You know when you can just kind of tell? Like, there's no way I don't get hit here. Sort of vibe. Yeah, you run love. Yeah, I mean, I'm not gonna reset over that. Like, I'm just gonna keep going. Like I said, I don't want to reset today. And I'm clearly not that upset about it because I didn't really raise my voice. Like, I know it was my fault. So whatever. Yeah, I mean, I can't. I'm not mad at the game for that. That's completely my fault. So, uh, I like I like Forgo DDD better because the music is a banger. I mean, both both tracks are bangers, but Forgo's is more of a banger. Actually, it's Elephant. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Thank you. 
mean, you can call him what he wants. I'm just going to call him what the game says. I'm sorry if that upsets you, but that's just what I do. I go by official names. Because it confuses people when I don't. That, hasn't Mario got a gun in the Rabbids game? I mean, Mario's got, like, an actual gun gun in the Rabbids game, though. Like, not even a meme. It's like a space gun or whatever, right? I didn't play it, so I don't know. So I guess my one just doesn't count then. Since everybody's just talking about Flood instead. I feel like this is something that you should really just leave alone. Because talking about age on Twitch is not going to end well for you. Or anyone. Like pecan pie. Oh, never mind. I literally killed that snacker by knocking it off the cliff. That's kind of funny. Fire. Car shop sign. Norca dial. Freight face car out photo stand. Wanted posters. The five elements. Just kidding. Like I said, like, ten minutes ago, I don't have a look, man. I have a wanted posters vendor. You're nice. I'm in training for that. That snacker had a face. Burgers or cheesesteaks? I've never really had many cheesesteaks. I mean, I don't like steak in general, but I don't think cheesesteak is the same thing. I could be wrong. I'm more of a burger person.
Oh my Jesus. The worst in this game when you like jump right up to like when you hit the top of a ladder like an all the time. When should next store moons run? Right now. Yes! yes, dude! Someone to raid after I'm done. Let's go. Wait, if you needed to find extra moons, why didn't you just... Instead of talking to talk to, why didn't you just pull up a moon list and, and look at your moon list? And see which... Oh, fuck's sake, see which number you were missing. Oh, you know what, you're right. How could you miss- you, of course you would miss the sweet siren call of talker to. Can't blame you for that. I relate. Nobel Ranger. Oh no, making splits. Lost you at this point. I've never played Roblox in my life. Roblox was after my time. I'll trade you. I'll do the talk to all moons. You can do the Breath of the Wild Hunter. Is that Skyloft?
Don't worry, it'll be fun, Philly. It'll be like playing the game casually all over again. That doesn't mean you can't play anymore. I mean, no, you're right. It doesn't, but I have no interest in it. So I, I probably won't. Ha, <laughs> you think that's gonna stop me? For those that don't know, I think it was September, I had a 10,000 points goal. It wasn't like a sub-10,000 sub points, it was just like a point system I had for like all forms of support. But the last one was Breath of the Wild Hundo, and it did get hit, so I owe one of those at some point. I'm practicing for it, uh... I hate this stupid machine. I'm practicing, I'm gonna start practicing all shrines again on Sunday. Like, I'm gonna go through the route. I'm not going to update my strats, just a heads up. <laughs> I've already got enough on my plate. I have run all shrines before, to be fair, and I have comp I have gotten all Koroks in the game like four times, so I know what I'm doing. I've done a hundred percent before, just not as a speed run. So I'm not not at least going in completely blind. Would I die for a Woofy? No. A Woofy would die for me. By the way, chat, I think the mouthful storage, for anyone that knows what that is, a trick that I have not used in any run. I don't think anyone has because we don't know how to make it save time. It saves time in all capsules. Potentially. Because you can bring the first spring through to this one, to this hole, well not this hole, but like to get rid of the dust pile for the capsule, um, by using mouthful storage. I need to do another run of it because I need to do what Poker did and use Mask Hammer. Because that would definitely be faster than what I did. Which is basically Volcano Fire plus two. What is my favorite game? Have you ever heard of a little indie title called Minecraft? I'm <laughs> just kidding. Um... I like the aggressiveness from the caps. Why? 
I don't know what this is in response to. Oh. Yeah, I made it big. And I said every time I got misgendered, I would make it bigger. I didn't actually stick to that, because that would be really annoying. But I thought about it. I need the bathroom. Do I take a break? Mm, I could. Yeah, but that doesn't- that's not an invitation to do that, because that would be very disrespectful. And you would probably get way banned way before that happened. Especially if I knew you were doing it on purpose. Oh, I didn't read out all the upgrades, I'm sorry. I've killed 120 a Woofy. I'm a monster. Love the alternating. It's really annoying. <laughs> yeah, you by default you get a 30 minute break. And if you surpass four hours, you get another one. Sorry, I'm kind of concentrating on the lunch rush. So in other words, basically because my run is longer than four hours, I get two 30 minute breaks. You can't take the second one before the four hour mark. So I get a 30 minute break by default. And then after four hours, I can take another one if I need one. Usually I only take one break and it's after the any percent segment to go to the bathroom. Gave the wrong one. That's fine. Decent score.
Yeah, fishing is the end. Every time. You have to enter three codes for the figurine. We enter four for money and star stones. These codes are within the game. They're not outside of the game. You can find them all in the game. You just don't have to pick them up in the run. You can literally just enter them from the start as soon as you unlock this thing. Am I using a keyboard? I feel like you could tell based on the fact I'm not really moving my switch at all. Like, I mean, just look how fast I'm typing these in. So, in the Discord a few nights ago... Shasta said, yeah, we never really made a decision, but most people, more people seemed in favor, so I guess it's okay. To which I responded, I don't want to be a stickler, but 100% really needs a decision on this because it enters four codes. So then I took it on my own volition to decide that I'm going to PB with keyboard, and then they have to make a decision. I shouldn't really come back and get this now, but I just don't know if I need these 300 coins for anything in particular. So I would rather not risk it. Was it fire just to... Like I said last time I brought this up, no disrespect to the mods, but ultimately I need to know if this is okay or not, so I'm just gonna make sure that a ruling is decided upon. Whether it makes the PB that I get invalid or not is whatever. Because, I mean, I don't really care that much about submitting to SLC. That was terrible. Dude, I'm doing the same thing.
Aha! Aha! Love the double! Oh my... Awkward. See you later, Dave. Let's look it up. What is that emo? What is that emo? <laughs> what is that? <laughs> okay, <laughs> sure. I just, I love the like, it's like multiple poses. I don't know, it's just funny. Can I have fire just so?
The only instrument I was ever any like decent at was piano, and not that. Not I wasn't like significantly decent or anything. The sleep treasure road is in this level. Yes. You do indeed do a sleep treasure road in this level. So I don't think I've seen the nerd gif, so to me that was just completely out of nowhere, which made it way funnier. I mean, I haven't got to the sleep treasure road yet. There's nothing to get. Here it is, the Sleep Treasure Road. Wow, wasn't that cool? Alright, anyway. Thank you for the sub for 31 months in a row, Tunes. I feel like I should say Alice in this sound. I'm weird. I'm sorry, I'm weird. I'm sorry! The one's going pretty bad, but I said I'd do a no reset today, so I'm gonna do a no reset like I promised. <laughs> Back to skew at the end. Skew dying. I mean, to be fair, what else would a sleep treasure road be if not that, right? Because they do it in every game. They put like a little obstacle path of sleeps. I went through the cage.
I think in my casual playthrough, I hit a sleep pedestal. This is also true, yeah. If you have deep sleep by the time you find that place, it's like... It doesn't do anything. <laughs> it just, you just lose your power. Big deal. That was good. Remember when this uh, target time used to be difficult? If someone's made that frosty hat, they haven't sent it to me yet, which is basically the same as not making it at all. Dude, I hate. I hate the little gaps for this one. Feels like they're too small. Time for the treasure road that I will not do the trick for, but someone will comment on it and I will be embarrassed. Ah! Ah! Oh my god, that was close. How do I miss that like three times?
So, my friend Swiftaloo actually made me a scarf with a shiny fur, shiny fur at colors. It's, it's very personal and it's mine and no one else can have it. I thought you knew this, Philly. Wait, how did you not know? This was like a year ago. Uh, maybe you for. Um, I mean, you could have forgotten. It was a birthday present last year. Flawless treasure road. Truly one for the ages. Take screenshots of it, it's that good. Sarcastic? The bunnies are called Rabaru, and the big bunnies are called O-Rabaru, and the O stands for Oh my gosh, it jumps so high. And that sounds like a joke, but that's what the figurine says it stands for. So now you know. I mean, it is a joke, but also that's just what the figurine says. <laughs> so...
Bernard sucks. Yeah, I said it. Just dropping the truth bomb. We're just not ready for it. Wait, what knowledge are we treasuring now? He does not suck. He's one of, if not the best boy. No, Kirby's the best boy. Oh, the O is on my gun. Yeah, it's good. It's really funny. I, I didn't know this until like a, a couple weeks ago when I actually sat down. When I was getting figurines, I actually read some of them. I'm like, why is this, why is this here? I mean, I'm okay with it, but it's just random. See you later, mid. I mean, look at that face. He's so cute. I love Kirby. Lost like four seconds or five seconds to just the box is not letting me through. That was so weird. Oh shoot, and I just lost time to not pressing A. <laughs> Oops. Even if this run doesn't PB, which it most likely won't, at least I'm getting the practice in. Especially in the later games, where I need it most. That is not what I wanted to do, Kirby. It also gives me splits to run against for um, this route with the capsules, because the, the my my 644 you gets different capsules, but I've finalized what capsules I think I'll be getting for the future. So at least these splits will tell a um more clear story of the pace I can expect in the future. Well, besides the mistakes, of course.
Hey, look, it's the oh my gosh, they jumped so high around the room. Didn't jump over that. Um, I do all the timing stuff off stream because I don't think it's interesting. I think it's like just a little bit over a second to pull the, of the animation to pull a thing out of the machine. And the capsule animation is like two seconds. So the capsule animation is a little slower, but you're guaranteed to get a new one if you keep picking them up. And it's also less money spent. Overall because you don't spend money to pick up a capsule. So it like balances out. Why couldn't I have got a run? Why couldn't I have got that in my run? Uh, you know, <laughs> last time. Yo, two new best coins. Goodbye, Kaipa. Don't forget me when you're famous. Oh my god, it's Tetris! L plus ratio plus Poyo Bear. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm doing okay.
time to go as fast as possible to maximize my speed buff. I played Forgotten Lands before. No, this is my first playthrough. So don't spoil anything for me. I'm just hoping I don't miss any secrets, you know? Surprised how many people don't know that you can do the taunts in this game. I guess to be fair, you wouldn't naturally assume you could use the D-pad, but still. They tell you. That's cute, Swift. You think people don't just mash through dialogue and option boxes? So innocent. So naive. Do you realize how many people, when I was running Arceus, were like, Wait, how do you do the bullet time thing on Basque Legion? And I'm like, you literally just try and throw a ball. Like, I didn't know that you could do that. The game never says it. Literally, as soon as you get Basque Legion, it's the text box that appears on the screen. See that dodge? I'm insane. Car. Ice cream. Monkey. Rental lockers. I need the bathroom right now. Attempting to take a early break. Debating it. True, you do have to spec into literature. Mm. Tough call, tough call.
Thanks, Zephro. Very belated. But I appreciate it nonetheless. Float. The float, dude. Tempting as that ice super jump is. I'll pass. Sorry, Bernard. Your lunch now. Damn it. This is what happens when you make Bernard lunch. Mess up. You know, it's the worst when you miss that, because then it fucks up everything. What's up with the AJ? I feel like I haven't seen you in a bit. You know what the weirdest part was? Seeing that you changed your profile picture on Discord. That that freaked me out. Please never do that again. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Oh, you went on vacation. I hope it was uh, nice. I don't know where you went, so. Thank you, thank you. I appreciate that. <laughs> Kind of scary, is all. Is it the foxy? Yeah. 
Yeah, but everyone can handle it when I do it. I can handle it. I can handle my own profile picture change, you know? I like that it was about 45 seconds before I got into this stage, and it took less than 45 seconds to clear it, so half the, like, most of this split is just idle time. Yeah, I appreciate the baby steps, you know. Just, I got so used to that shit uh, in, shit in, sorry, my, my brain could not. For some reason my brain was going to say shit in Jask, and I'm like, that's not right. You're going to change your profile picture to make you freak out. I mean, you haven't changed yours in forever. Doesn't actually freak me out. I like your profile picture though. I like your profile picture because I feel like it was. The, if I remember the context of its creation, it's positive, so. God, I almost got crushed. I just get bored looking at the same profile picture all the time. That's why I changed mine a lot. There really is nothing more to it than that. And usually when I get a new email, I'm like, oh, I like this email. I want to look at it a lot. So I just change it to that. So, post-game world alone takes like an hour. Garcha plus fishing takes around 40 minutes. Arenas take around 20 minutes. Uh... And then it's just wrapping up. I d a lot of World 6 treasure roads I don't do until the end, which is like half an hour-ish. Fishing and Garcha combined are 40 minutes, like it's 20 minutes each. Because you need 20 minutes, like you use it to farm like 10,000 coins ish.
Alyssa, are you here? I mean, didn't you hate those anyway? <laughs> like, I'm being vague on purpose. I mean, I don't know what- I don't know if you could have expected more at this point from them. So... I guess it just doesn't surprise me at this point, you know? Sorry, it was just very, uh, blunt of you. I hate that meteor so much. I slowed down and everything to not get hit by it, and then I got hit by anything. I mean, yeah, like, what's... It's like, it's one of those things where it's like... What does it accomplish anyway? At this point, you're so close to just being done. You may as well just forget about it. This run's not very good, but I didn't reset, so I'm sure I'll finish it. Which is basically all I wanted to achieve today anyway. Because it helps practice. I need to- because I need to finish more runs, because even though I have world record, the game is still relatively new. Like, in the grand scheme, it's like a month or so. So it's like, finishing runs is still helpful to me at this point. Do do do. 
For the most part, a lot of these levels are pretty straightforward, but there are parts of this run. Like, for instance, honestly, the biggest part of this run that will, that can be improved a lot is post-game world. Because post-game world is basically all movement, for the most part. The main game, like this... I mean, it is movement, but it's basic movement. I feel like movement matters more in post-game world because of all the souls. It just feels like it flows a lot uh, more. It's hard to explain, but I definitely feel like post-game world is something that needs a lot more practice. Just remember chat, and by chat I mean anyone who may not be following where you can follow for more dank content. Although, I won't ever say dank again, I promise. Because honestly, I hated saying that. Straight after it came out of my mouth. That's not true, I'll definitely say dank again. But it won't be for a while, I can promise you that. Me! Because I'm almost 30! Sorry. <laughs> sorry for being old. I'm sorry. It's so hard to, to land where you want to land here. Kirby thinks you're doing great, chat. See? He said bui. You know what that means. things to get fucking hit by it. I got sniped. Yo, if I could just stop losing Tornado for five seconds, I would appreciate it. If I could lo stop losing Tornado for five seconds, just, just wanted to say it again, just in case no one heard me the first time, you know?
This jab hog will hit me without fail in every run. means. Good night. Oh, good night. Have a good day at work, sweet Lou. I feel like I always go to say good night first. I don't know why. Well, I mean, that was pretty good. Like, with the boost? I mean, I got to the end with 18 seconds still. So I should be able to make it to the lift with, uh... Speed boost. Which is basically where I would need it up to anyway. I mean, it'd be nice to have for the whole way going into Leon, but I mean, there's no way it lasts through the whole DDD fight, so... That's a pipe dream. 
Anyway. Now we just need to get Leon skip. New best one. Sorry, <laughs> I love that there's a best for these. Alright, we really want to get Leon skip here. I'm gonna go for it. So why would you not? in like a lot of time now it's my pb so definitely probably not gonna most likely not gonna pb now like i was already pretty much sure i wasn't now i'm very confident Of course I get that one. How did I get- I got way- I got too high. 
Okay, that works. <laughs> sure. No, you don't. Thanks for giving me good RNG, I guess. But this run isn't a horrible pace or anything, it's just, it's not good enough, you know? It's kind of where it's at. Like, I'll still get a six, I'll probably still get a, I could, I have the potential to still get a six, four X. You know? I don't know why I buffered that. I think because I'm so used to doing it in arena. <laughs> Because you also have to factory and I'll have more capsules in this run, as well as uh, I've already done the cafe game. So yeah, like it's not horrible pace, it's just not very good. You wouldn't happen to be here, are you? Yeah, I was just thinking, you know how I said, oh, actually, never mind about the buff for routing Cafe into pre post, pre Silly Dilla? I realize now what we could do is leave Brawling Policy until last, leave the buff on the ground. But I don't know how you do it in Hundo. Because I don't use a buff for Beast Council. And then you could leave that buff on the ground for before Forgo. You could pick it up instead of having to go all the way up to the shop. So then it would definitely be faster to do Cafe with Silly Dillo. Because then you wouldn't have to go over that side really at all besides to just pick up the buff quickly. Because you could just buy a Silly Dillo buff, because the, the damage shop is available. You could just buy it since you're going past it for Tilt and Roll anyway. Also, I didn't split. Sorry. And you're going to buy one anyway, because I'm going to buy one now. So I could just buy it then instead, you know? Because I'm closer then than I would be now.
I need the bathroom real bad, so thank god it's break time. <laughs> I need it so bad. Okay, um... I usually wait until I get the Waddle Dee notification, because it's easier to phone menu there. <clears throat> Alright. Yeah, this will probably be a 6 4x or a low 6 5x. That's fine though. I don't mind. I could be wrong. Maybe my forego is very improvable, but that's why we're doing a no reset, so. Guess we'll see. Alright. I need the bathroom real bad, chat. I'll be back in a sec. This is my- this is an allowed break, don't worry, no one panic. I'll be back in a moment. Oh, I didn't mute when I left. <laughs> yeah, so my routing would make... I can talk about it because I've got break. What I would do is buy a Silly Dillo attack buff. Well, enter Brawling Coliseum. Presence on the ground. Leave it. Then buy the buff for Silly Dillo. Do tilt and roll. Everything else. Blah, 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 blah. Um, Then... Before six one, because I'm buying nine 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 speed buff anyway. I'll just buy another attack buff then, because I don't use an attack buff for Beast Council. I don't think it's worth it, because the only annoyance is Goromondo. Silly Dillo still takes full two full charges with Hammer without buff, and then Chloraline. If you do no auto swallow, dies in one drop anyway. So I don't think that the buff is worth for that stage. So then, after I beat the game, now, then I would pick up the present, because then I wouldn't have to go anywhere over. That would make the most sense to me. Like, the only boss in 6-4 that I feel like benefits from the attack buff more significantly is Goromondo, but I don't think it's significant enough to be worth a whole attack buff.
and pour a drink and I'll be back to the run. And then spill it in typical me fashion. Just so spill my drink every fucking time. I pour a drink into my flask, but it fizzes up so hard, it just bubbles out. It's so annoying. I wish the flask was transparent so I could see it coming more. I just need to pay attention. It's just a mild nuisance. Anyway, how is, how is all your day go days going? Because I feel like I'm talking into the void right now. Your day is fire. Yo, sick. Your day is fire. Nice. What's up, Blissy fan? All right. I'm ready to go back. On week two of trying to get a negative COVID test. Oh. You have to present to game devs later. Do you want to test on me? I'm a game dev. Now I know what you're thinking. That's obviously a joke. But not, not so. Except it's not a joke. It's a lie. I love the way DDD just kind of waves you like this up. One of them is from Nintendo. Do you think Nintendo is going to steal your game idea? Is your game idea Mother 3 English version? Generic platform of 300,000. Have you seen how many platformers Nintendo has? Alright, Forgo World! Woo! 
<laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Can you tell I'm excited for Forgo World? Yeah! Too easy. Good. I want my mic to be. I want everyone to know how excited I am. Whoa, 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 buddy. I can't believe that freeze didn't kill. I'm actually, I'm actually shocked. I'll be real. What's up, Fibes? Thanks for good luck. What's up, Kiwi? Maybe good luck, Waff Waff. Don't you dare. How am I? I'm okay. Pretty decent today compared to usual. I love this freeze frame that's about to happen. Bang. Oh, I didn't get the fab freeze. It's over.
damn right. Fucking, don't you fucking dare. happen pray to I wouldn't let I wouldn't I wouldn't disappoint you like that I got you you know what they say going over the tippy top slow, like whatever. What's up, Ilpazza? Oh my goodness gracious me! I bet you wish you had the twin drill figurine. But no, you don't. You're sitting there with your volume one Elphilin figurine. <laughs> Cleared it in wild mode. Absolutely mental. <laughs> Wild Motor, so there's two difficulties that you can pick at the start of the game. You can change them, but basically any time anyway, so it doesn't really mean much. But Wild Mode is basically the game's harder of the two difficulties, so you get coins for completing levels uh, in that difficulty. So that's why you play- every other category does uh, Spring Breeze mode, which is the easier mode, because the notification at the end of every level that says that you get coins is slow, but obviously in 100% because you need coins, playing in, a, playing in wild mode is faster. So this is the only category, I believe, at present that plays in wild mode, specifically for the money. Did you just die? 
Wow, that was very cool of you, Wild Edge. Thanks for the cool parting gift. A five second penalty. Very sick of you. I got one past him. So yeah, in every other category it's slow. So if you ever see people playing in Spring Breeze mode, it's not because they can't play in wild mode. It's, well, it's not because they're unable to beat the game in wild mode. They literally, it's literally just slow. I think most people, most runners would probably just play in wild mode out of principle. If you didn't have to. Even if you didn't have to, I mean. I feel like that's just kind of a thing. Like, I mean, you could play Odyssey in assist mode, and I think it's actually faster in some cases, but people play, people don't want to play with assist mode on. It's just kind of a thing, you know? They don't want to be embarrassed. They don't want to. They don't want people to think, "Oh no, they think I suck at the game." Self-conscious. Honestly, I don't need I don't need ice anymore. So it's fine.
Nice. Decent. Not horrible, not amazing, but okay. Could have been worse. We take those. Good maze, good maze, good maze. Good maze. Good. Take that. That quarter was out for blood, yeah. <laughs> it was chasing me down. Pretty good, sub eight. Decent, that's for sure. Yo, I'm looking for those. What was it, Avery? I'm not a spice person. So I would. You definitely wouldn't have to worry about me wanting some, I can tell you that much. I like chicken, but I don't like spice. Sort of a baby in that area. Let me help. Oh, I hate these chests. They're so annoying. God, that's so satisfying. I love that. Just bling, 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 bling. It's so good. You are to a point you're a wimp some of the time. I don't like hot sauce, but I love sweet chili. I think I like sweet chili too. Actually,
with the light bulb. Perfect, the light bulb again. That was clean. Oh my god, that was so clean. Just that whole section was just, mmm, chef's kiss. I feel bad, I'm sorry you got bogged, okay. It's all going good fun. We're just here to have fun today. Oh my god, imagine getting into the warp star by accident first, Monka. You know what you need? A drink.
No. My, I got my brain mixed with true ending. I was like, ah, oh, fire, fast. But then I'm like, no, need hammer next room anyway. No point. Me speaking weird primitive tongue. Kirby go 100. So true. so much harder for some- I mean, it's not for some reason. It's so much harder to get that with Volcano compared to Dragon. I'm all that. I'm the one that's all that. Not them! Oh shit. I shouldn't have said anything. Sorry. How did I get that of all things?
Dude, I so wish, I so wish that you could, um, what's it? You didn't, I'm, I wish that you could get that chest without doing the fights, because then you could skip the whole gauntlet. Kirby impression? I was going for elephant, but close enough. I get pinged in here. Can't look at this right now. I'm in the middle of a long. Kirby sits in the boat! He sit! Phantom Tropic Woods. Hooray! I'm just jumping because it looks cool. It doesn't make a difference. Whoa, whoa, whoa. My oh, I'm excited. We don't need to go back in there again. I changed my name from Timpani for a reason, Travis. But that's really it's that simple. I 
I think they should make this, uh... I think they should make this game queue up. It's like Tippy from SM64. It's actually a character from Super Paper Mario, but I do recognize that, uh, Tippy does come up in 64. I have had it, I've had it made, I've had it, uh, come up in a couple streams that I've been in for 64. I feel bad now, because when people lose runs in Tippy, I'm just kind of like, just not gonna say anything for a while. Don't mind me. This time. I forget who it was that was saying how I was almost done with the last boss, but there was still three hours left or something. I feel like you're now seeing how long this post-game world is if you're still here. Because <laughs> it does go on for quite a while. Thank you, Google Galaxy Run. how long that one takes to spawn in. What if Kirby was smaller? Fun fact, there is a copy of Billy in the game, or in the series, called Mini, that does make Kirby smaller. It is very useless, for the most part. It has, like, very minimal use. No pun intended. If Mini Kirby was smaller, well, that'd be sick. That'd be the greatest thing they've done since I don't know ever.
No. Yes. No. Yes. Yes! Yeah, you can. You can. You can. I've. I do. I've done it before. You can jump on the rail of the. Tw you can jump on the rail of the scissor lift, and then you can like um, just jump up to the top without having to capture it. I just messed up my movement. Oh, you missed the rare star here, yeah. I missed the... <laughs> Sorry. I missed the I missed the capsule here, and I missed the... I believe in my casual playthrough I missed the star stone in World 4. I didn't miss one, right? I didn't realize someone <laughs> he took me down quite a lot. I mean, I'll be real, I don't follow him in mouthfuls at all, so I'll just take your word for it. It's just not something I'm particularly interested in, if I'm being honest.
My interest in any low percent for this game would just be no copy abilities. That's about as far as my interest goes. I just don't think Min Malfoy's is particularly interesting. No, no disrespect, of course, because you know, like it's still, it's not like it's easy to do everything in that kind of run, but it's just not for me, you know. Pick up the damn salt. Like, it's one of those runs that's just kind of impressive, but, like, not something I would be interested in doing myself, you know? Like, it's the, it's the kind of run I would definitely want to watch. some more just one section with the ceiling actually doesn't contribute the most mouthfuls. That is surprising actually, yeah, because it's like freaking how many do you go through? Like five? Well actually some of them you don't have to get because you can the ring the first ring you don't have to get, you can just leave it. I'm not sure how many are required to get through that section. I know you need the vending machine to get through the first hole, and you need the... Isn't that it, actually? I'm trying to think. Yeah, so it's like the first vending machine, and then the... Just went through there, and my brain can't think. Storage... Oh, right, yeah, the storage. Isn't it this one, then, that probably has the most mouthfuls? Because they put them against the door, right? Oh, actually, no, you can... I know you can hammer out, jump over these over walls. I've seen it. I think. Can't you? Or is it not loaded? Because I know I saw a clip of someone hammer jumping over this wall.
third door. Weird. Games are weird. That was basically the gist I get from... That's the thing with low percent. I feel like that's that's the biggest takeaway from a lot of low percent for me is games are weird. vending machines. No, what... Kirby went too far when you weren't allowed to, uh... Kirby went too far when you weren't allowed to taunt as the vending machine. That was the final straw. Mella? Mella Calico? Macalico. How you doing? We were talking about you earlier, because I was talking about how I bought I bought the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe, played like an hour of it, and then just watched you do everything instead. <laughs> Oh, you know what? I should be using my freaking thing. I mean, there's no point now. That's what I have it for. My attack buff. I was supposed to use it at the start of phase one. You're so annoying. How do I think I'm doing this run? This run sucks. But I said I'd do a no reset today, so. There it is. The most important figurine. I gotta do World 6 Treasure Roads. Uh, and Meta Knight Treasure Road and... Uh, what's the other one? The, um... Fucking... Uh... Time Crash, that's the one. Guys, I can sense Leongar. And here we are. 
I mean, I just said this run sucks. Hey, doing Minecraft. Now you want to do that. Nice. So the one and not the only. Ah, uh, anyways. I just need you to stay still for two seconds. Shut up. Don't ever talk to me again. I never got into Kingdom Hearts, sadly. My sister likes it. My older sister. I watched her play it a little bit, but I've never personally enjoyed it. I know, but I was just sorry. I didn't realize I wasn't allowed to be part of a conversation in my own chat. Mubby! Okay, I'll be, I'm gonna spend the next 10 to, tw 10 to 20 minutes killing bosses anyway. I hate Mana Knight, dude. 
Just fucking choke. Just die! You're so annoying. Literally the most annoying boss in the game. Because it's so... He's just so fucking obnoxious to read. Ten more, this is a gauntlet, yeah. There's a walls. She. And also no. I know you were joking. Well, the misgender wasn't a joke. It was more about the misgender than anything. I don't think that that's what they meant, Avery. Did my run not die here yesterday? No. My, I haven't got to run this far in a while. Yeah, but it wasn't just that. It was also just kind of like... I know it was a joke, but I feel like... You know when you take a joke too far and it stops being funny? That, that was that. That's what that was. That's okay, but we all have different senses of senses of humor. I mean, if I was really upset, you would have been banned. You didn't get banned. I feel like this conversation has gone on far too long. Nah, this run sucks. I don't. Well, I don't think it's world record pace. If this run is, if this run is world record pace, I've got a lot of time saved. <laughs> Let's put it that way. But I said I'd do a no reset today because I just want to make sure I get my practice in for late game and all that, you know.
Plus, since tomorrow is my day off, I wanted to make sure I actually got a decently length stream, decent length stream out because past couple streams have only been like four hours, and I just felt a little bad. Oh, uh, Leon, the fucking ability stealing master! Love it, love it, love it. Yeah, you're cool. You're so amazing. God, I hate this boss so fucking much. Choke. Oh yeah, I mean, I'm fine. I'm not worried. It's just a fun run anyways. Uh, we actually talked about instruments earlier. I said the only instrument I used to be able to play decently was the piano, and I haven't played it in so long now. On wild mode, you can tell because I have less HP. That wasn't a great arena. Hopefully, my hopefully my Z arena goes a little better. Now for the actual arena, the real one. All other arenas are fake. This one's for real. Spoilers ahead, even though you probably shouldn't be here as is if you don't want to see spoilers. I'm just warning people because I feel like it's polite to do. Dude, I hate when Kirby does that. I hate when he does that. Like, I do a I do a dodge roll to get a quick hammer charge, and then he just bounces and doesn't charge. And it's like, what the fuck, bro? Like, be a homie.
I'm not sure, I just, I, I guess. I asked in the Discord this morning, so someone might have already responded to me. Because it keeps happening when I'm doing arena runs in my own time, and I'm just like, why does this keep happening? It's so annoying. Terrible maze. Got screwed on maze RNG there. Fuck this boss! Because RNG is a bitch. And then he died. You got owned.
Damn, so did you. You just got fucked. Dude, Leon and Morpho just got destroyed. Oh my god, just come down here and eat shit. Christ. Fucking RNG, man. Hate this boss. Well, I, no, I love this boss, but I hate the fact that it's so RNG heavy. It's literally like, hope that you get good attacks, because if not, haha, <laughs> get fucked. Sucks, but what are you gonna do? He doesn't have any fucking... That sucks, dude. I hate when that happens. What the... What?! Hello?! Excuse?! Fuck off. What was that shit? Oh, I'm just gonna go out of bounds now. <laughs> What's that? You wanna hit me? Too fucking bad. Fucking terrible. I got fucked by the last boss so fucking hard. It's him. Cut the email. Why is there no Trader D figurine? Anyone wonder that? Like, why can't you get a Trader figurine for trading with him like three times? D 
Dude, honestly, the commentator Waddle D giving you a trophy or a figurine of himself is literally the the Obama picture of Obama putting a gold medal on himself. That's literally what it is. Yeah, I didn't route in an extra treasure road yet, but I'll save a minute on my PB by not accidentally uh, messing up. Yeah, but I like the I like the commentator more because it's literally a medal for being the arenas. One's for retail work. One's for random code entering. It just makes the most sense with arena. Why do you have to explore the joke so hard? You're being that one person in Twitch chat. Sorry, Luffy. The game gave me no choice. you blast me so far away why don't you just die do us both a favor stop existing Even after, like, making sure that the shield didn't pop me for once, I still got fucked. He should not have a hitbox when he is stunned. I'm sorry. Look, maybe I'm complaining about nothing. But quite frankly, it makes zero sense to me that he should have a hitbox when he is busy and disoriented. Maybe I'm just the crazy one. Forget which one runs at me. That one. Well, I mean, you died, so.
Yeah, dude. I just feel like the spin is better than the charged sword for these fights because you can hit both and it just keeps going. It just keeps going, dude. It just never, it never stops. It keeps going. Oh my god, it's still going. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh. Watch this time save. Calculated. Wearing the right hat. Free. Also, having the attack buff for this stage as well is nice. Not, not a necessity, but it is nice. I feel like you need to stop worrying about how long I have left and just enjoy the run because I don't know and I honestly don't care and I don't want to care. Because I'm not here trying to PB, I'm just trying to enjoy my run. Which, trust me, doesn't happen very often. Haha, <laughs> you're cool, but also, you're dead now. If I needed to recommend one game, what would it be? So have you heard of this little indie game called Minecraft? <laughs> I'm just kidding. I said that earlier. <laughs> you know, it's the stage that there's no point in practicing because you never get it in runs. No! Wait. it and then I fell off. Jesus Christ, man. <laughs> like, come on. <laughs> Fuck this stupid trick. Every run. Every run. I can't just get a 10 second time. In practice, I'll get it just fine. But every run, it's like, oh my god, dude. Just let me have it. I practice the shit out of it. And Philly knows I'm not just chatting crap either, he's seen me practice. And he's experienced the same thing! Jesus Christ, fuck this stupid treasure room. Honestly, it's very natural to get scared when Kirby goes off screen. You're just gonna have to trust that I know what I'm doing. It's definitely a mental thing. It's like... You know...
Nailed it. Whoa! You know what they say. You can't teach an old dog new tricks. Now you might be wondering what that has to do with anything that's going on. Nothing. I just wanted to say it. Ha <laughs> Yeah! Wait, what? Winning at Gotha. I'm goth now. It's like all the way down here. Have I wouldn't have the first clue how to be goth. You know, this reminds me of Kirby's Blowout Blast too. Anyone else? Just come down here, please. <laughs> Fucking jump next time. Kirby doesn't know how to jump and it makes me sad. Oh! <laughs> oh my god, that was so sick! Oh, I could not do that again if I tried. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh, that's funny. <laughs> oh my god. I made this whole run worth it. You weren't looking. Sucks to suck. You just have to watch the board. Let me tell you, it's worth watching the board. That was sick.
Give shoutouts to Pacto. Probably the worst thing ever created. You know, except for the other thing. Oh my god, can you guys just stay together? Die. Well, that was a terrible fight. Well, <sighs> Karma's a bitch. It gave me that amazing, uh, that amazing treasure road before. Just to give me a shit one that I normally had to do well. What's this one? Twin drill? Okay. You know what the cool part is? I think I, I think this is another run where I didn't miss a single target time. Target time. I mean, there's a couple left, but the rest are pretty easy. So, I mean, of course, I could still fuck up, but I'm looking at the ones that are left. I'm like, eh, it's probably not gonna happen. Oh my fucking just break. Awful. Fuck you, Bernard. You love Space Kirby so much. And Space Kirby loves you, random citizen. You really gonna go there, bro? What's up, Cody?
He didn't even try to be funny. That's the worst part. It was just a fucking lame statement. Yeah, Cody, how dare you wish me a great day. <laughs> what is that, Roger? Just... I hope that you're having a good one as well. Oh, you haven't finished your playthrough yet? I've been enjoying the 100% runs a lot. The only problem I have is it feels like... How do I put this? It feels like it's getting a bit... It's a bit too easy to be consistent. So it's like... A lot of the run comes down to just a few key points that you don't want to mess up. So you end up playing through a lot of the game just to get to a part of the run that matters and then you mess that up and it's like, well, I've just invested like the past two to three hours in this run and I messed up the part that mattered, you know? That's like the big problem, I think, with this game, unfortunately. It is fun and it's really cute, which helps a lot. Does 100% include the stuff after the main boss? It's literally... So, 100% is basically... All Waddle Dees. All, all the post-game stuff. All Treasure Roads. All the are all the Coliseum finished. Um, all the figurines. Just everything, basically. The only thing that isn't counted for 100% is you don't need to get all the target times. And you don't need to get, uh... You don't need to upgrade the damage of every ability to max. You just have to unlock every ability. Yeah, all the mini games because they give you all figurines as well. The only the only mini game you don't need to do is hard tilt and roll, but we do it anyway because it gives you a lot of money. Uh, also, the same with treasure road target times. Like I said, they're not required, but getting them gives me money, so you want to do them, you know. So I got this one. Yeah, let's just go in again.
This is the one part of the run where I have two player. So. Now you may have noticed I have splits for the figurines. I know. I actually made them. It's real. Alright, I feel like that's enough. So now we all want it. Start. Great start. So I'm going to focus for a little while because I feel like every time I lose focus I mess up. But you'll have me all through the figurine grinding so don't worry. Dude, I don't know why it is with me. I'm just sometimes my instinct kick. I, it's like some weird instinct where I'm like, oh, press this button. And it's the completely wrong button. I don't know where it comes from, you know?
I need 13,700 because I haven't bought Deep Sleep yet. For anyone who wants to know. You know it's the worst when you fail a fish like that. Yeah, this is money farm. It'll be going for a little while. Basically, we want golden fish. That would be cheating. Yeah, I believe you are correct. Yes, but good luck doing that. Trust me, I've tried. Also, one thing to note is if you are slower to get the fish, you don't get the 30 fish, you get 10 fish. So you have to be as fast as, I, as you can be. Like, simply getting the fish isn't enough. You have to be fast if you want to get actual, like, big fish. No, but sub-drag means literally fishing at the same time instead of alternating, which is what I used to try to do. But after a lot of experimenting and looking at other people, it's just better to do alternating unless you were a god. Which, I mean... When someone gets good enough to do that, they're gonna kill the category. <laughs>
I tried to get good enough for uh, simultaneous, but I, I made so many mistakes as a result. Twice in a row that's happened. Yeah, we, we all know. Well, all the runners know. I can promise you that. I'd be worried if the runners didn't know at that point. Thirteen thousand seven hundred. This is a lot less physically strenuous than Jump Farm. We don't really need to compare Jump Farm to something. Surprised I got that one. I felt like I was a little slow, but I'll take it. I'm not gonna complain. Dude, that's the third time that's happened. It almost makes you wonder if the golden fish are just on cycles when stuff like that happens. Yeah, I was gonna say, I didn't feel good about that one. All my inputs were really slow. I don't even know if that matters, but it just didn't feel good.
Thanks, sweet mare. It's very kind of you to say. Sorry, I'm a little focused right now because of the the dual controller action that's going on. But I'm almost done, so I'll be able to talk more in a little bit. Nice coin count. I'm sorry, I'm 14. Mentally, apparently. Almost there. Need a few more goldies. Preferably soon. Interesting pal. What's up, Raven? I'm doing okay, yeah. I'm just a little focused on the fishing. I'm almost done, though, so... Shoot, that's my bad. I pressed it too early. I panicked because it was taking so long. How big is the change? What do you mean? Oh, chance? I have no idea. We don't know. We sadly do not have that information. Very close now, just need one more.
Sadly, I don't think that 20 people have even run the game. Or run 100%. Like, I don't even think there's 100... Hang on. Okay, we're done. It's in God's hands now. Honestly, you know what? I kind of want to put this in the fishing split because it's not going to be here forever. So apparently we should, based on my math, we should need 26. Should. Also, I should note that the worst possible RNG in Volume 1, while annoying for time, would be virtually insignificant in depend in changing your, uh, in your, uh, like, money isn't, a, it basically is irrelevant money-wise for the most part. It's mainly just time from getting dupes. I mean, we don't want dupes, so, you know, if we could not. We talked about this earlier. I said how the, the sleep treasure road is in Moonlight Canyon. It's the room where you avoid the sleep pedestals. Oh, no. I haven't been keeping count, by the way, but I'm pretty sure I'm around 13. But what do you need all the coins these? You're literally watching. They get more expensive. What's up, Pepsi? Pretty bad RNG for Volume 1, I'll be real. Are you standing here for like an hour? No. Just watch how fast my money starts going down when I get to V3. Okay, so you need 61 here. So I mean, if you want to count, be my guess. I don't know how many. I don't know how many I actually got for volume one there. Twenty-two. I wonder if I picked up. I think it's because some of the capsules I haven't marked in the dock, so that makes sense. Sixty-one should be accurate, but I I'm not tracking all that. That's <laughs> it's too much to count.
Yo, I'm dropping frames! Good thing it's during the part of the run where no one gives a shit what the fuck is happening. Hopefully it stops soon. Yeah, it stopped. Kerberga! Yo, it's Coraline! She has lots of fans. If you aren't posting Burgi every time I get a burger, a Kirby burger, figuring what are you even doing? It's nice to have a general gauge of how close I am. If we're assuming that I was at 30 when you said it, then I'm at 33 right now. Thirty-four. Thirty-five. Thirty-six. You count down now. Twenty-four. Twenty-four left. Twenty-three. I mean, you just did, so you lied. Twenty-one. Is this RNG? Yes, but not- it's not that heavy RNG. It's like light RNG, you know? So like, yeah, like, third is guaranteed new, so I was gonna get a new figurine. Yeah, you can't get worse than two dupes in a row, but you don't want to get dupes at all. You know, obviously. Corn! Well, if it's 50, then we're at 51 now, so that means there'd be 10 left. So we're getting close to the end. Nine. Eight. Oh my god, make it as slow as possible, I don't know. I mean, I don't care if I beat my PB. You've asked me this five times, and I've said every time I just wanted to finish run. I am genuinely asking you to stop asking me. Please. I don't care. That wasn't what today was for.
Alright, 51 for this. My volume 3 and my PB was trash, I remember that. Like, it was real trash. I got more dupes in my volume 3 than my volume 2. And there were more- there obviously you need- you need more volume 2 than volume 3, so... Like, I'm, I'm sorry that you're stressing about college homework, but you have asked me this multiple times, to which I've said every time, I don't care. Yeah, it's like I just kind of want to play my run. If it PBs, awesome. If it doesn't, that's okay. Not every run has to PB. Fire Emblem Heroes. I always name the last split a gacha game. So it's been Genshin Impact, it's been Mario Kart Tour, it's been Fate. What was that other one? What's that one that... Uh... Mez plays? I forget. It's like Fate Grand Order, that's the one. So I just kind of change it every once in a while. Though I might change the split name because now it's not really the Garcha anymore. The Garcha has their have their own splits. I haven't been keeping track, by the way. I have no idea how many we're at. <laughs> Fucking blue worm looking ass! <laughs> If we're at 30, that means I only need 21 more. It's kind of crazy. What is up, Riley? Thanks for the host. I appreciate the raid. I hope that the stream went well. Do I have a favorite figure? The Napping Beast, which is the Awoofy that's sleeping. Or the, prime vo or the Primal Awoofy. One of the two. Yeah, this Volume 3 has been way better than the one in my PB. Like, real good. Like, I feel like I'm gonna have way more coins than I needed. Almost. There it is! That's one of my favorites. I love that one. Thank you for the Prime Sum for 33 months, tear gas. Thank God we got the soft serve traffic gun. Heaven forbid we get ter- Heaven forbid we don't get that one again. Uh, this is where all the bad luck comes in at the end, because I have more of them now. So now I'm more likely to get dupes. Poison, Krokum. Well, if, they, if I'm at 41 now, that means there's 10 more. Nine more, which would be insane because I still have so much money. Noddies have I got? Five more. Four more. Three more. Two 
two more. One more. Zero more. Whoops. <laughs> I only need 17 here, which I can actually just count actively. Two. Three. I have so much money. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Oh, right, yeah, I still have to pay the band, that's why. I was so confused why I had so much money. I was like, oh, yeah. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. No matter what, I have enough money. 13. 14. Like, we're safe, so it doesn't matter. 15. That should be 15. 16. Just need one more now. Perfect. Four napping beasts. I'm gonna double check. Yeah. I just wanted to be sure. This won't be a sub 640, but it is a PB, and I have no idea how. I mean, the volume four, the volume three was cracked. That's probably why, to be honest. Because honestly, I mean, this is the same run where I literally lost to DDD and had to start over. And I think I actually also did I lose to Silly Dillo as well in this run, or was it just or was it just DDD? I think it was just DDD. I also failed Tilt and Roll a fair bit, but not a lot. I mean, this is gonna PB. Like, I, I, this is this whole part doesn't take five minutes. I'm telling you now, it won't be a sub six four either, because I have to do the band animations and that takes too long. But it should be, unless I've forgotten something, this should be sub six forty four easily. So yeah, this would be. I did. I didn't get Leon skipping this run either. That's true. And this is why I wanted to do a no reset today, because I wanted to see how good, how much time save I had. And the answer is a lot, which is nice. <laughs> Talk about fan animations. Yeah, if I had got Leon skip and not failed DDD, this could have been sub 640. But, you know, that's fine. Like I said, I wasn't trying to PB today, so who cares? Holy shit, the band! Oh my god, it's the band again! Oh, it's the next one where you get more where you get more angles. Oh, I was supposed to split. Oops. I'll just split that after. I guess I'll split when I get my last figure from Trader D. That'd be the smart thing to do. Honestly, I don't know if I need a V4 split. I'll just, like, kind of tag it on at the end. Oh my god! The Deedly Dees! I'm a huge fan! The real question is, did I miss something? How much money do I have? 
have curiosity. I still have almost a thousand. Wow. Can't believe I PB'd that run. Oh, that run wasn't even that good. It was pretty bad. But I'm okay with that. I'm not gonna complain. I'll take a PB. I was just trying I was just trying to do a no reset. <laughs> That's sick. 